Okay, we are going to solve problem 15.2 from Sadiku book and the question is to find the Laplace transform of cosine omega t plus theta and Laplace transform of sine omega t plus theta. And I will do it in one go, so we don't need to find this and this separately, but in one go. How? How to do that? Uh, I will use Euler formula, e to the jx, j is the imaginary number, we uh, electrical engineers usually use j not i, so e to jx is equal to cosine x plus j sine x, and that will make this equation can be combined into a to the e to the j omega t plus theta is equal to cosine of omega t plus theta plus j sine omega t plus theta and then we can integrate this one so we can it's equal to integrating this and this and in the end we will get the final result and the real part is the laplace transform of the cosine because cos here is the real part and the imaginary part will be the laplace transform of sine so let's do laplace transform here laplace transform the definition is integral from zero to infinity of what will we transform e to the j omega t plus theta times e to the minus st dt and because the base is the same we can add the exponent so we can rewrite this as integral from zero to infinity e to the j omega t plus theta minus st dt okay now let's manipulate this a bit so we can separate which one has variables and which one has constant okay so we will have integral from zero to infinity of e and the exponent will be j omega t plus j theta minus s dt okay so far so good so now we integrate to the with respect to t so we will need to group this t into one variables so i will have integral from zero to infinity e to the j omega minus s t plus j theta d theta and we can separate this plus j theta into a separate exponent so e to j theta dt and because this does not contains any t so this is a constant we can put this out of integration so we will have e to j to the j theta power and then we integrate from zero to infinity of e and i want to rewrite this as minus s minus j omega because why because the complex number usually on the right side so we just want to regroup that and this integrated with respect to Okay, now we can integrate this easily but oh sorry this need t here okay okay to make this calculation easy i want to make u substitution so u i will pick this as u so s minus j omega t is our u and that makes du is equal to s minus j omega t i mean dt 
and then dt will be du over s minus j omega okay so let's plug all of this into this and we will have e to the j theta and then we will have integral of e to the minus u and dt is du over s minus j omega and because this is constant we can put this outside the integral so i will have this will be s minus j omega and let's rewrite this integral e to the minus u du and for the limit of the integration i will have when t is equal to zero u is also equal to zero and when u is equal to infinity t uh, when t is equal to infinity u also equals to infinity okay so far we have this integral and our whiteboard is full let's wrap this up and let's continue okay so far we have this integration here and this can be integrated easily so let's do that e to the j theta over s minus j omega and that will be minus e to the minus u and the limit of integration is from in from zero to infinity okay now let's plug the limits of integration so when u is equal to infinity this will close to zero yeah this will be will become zero so minus e to the minus infinity minus u is equal to this is one over e to the u and when u is approach infinity it will approach zero and then when the u is zero this value will be minus one so zero minus minus one and that all will be one so because this is one and this is multiplication so we don't need to take care of this one so we have this equation now we will have e to the j theta over s minus j omega so we want all the complex number to the numerator so i rationalize this by multiplying it by its conjugate s plus j omega okay now e to the j theta will equal to cos theta this formula cos theta plus j sine theta and that multiplied by s plus j omega and for the denominator i can use the difference of two squares so we will have s square minus j omega squared and j squared is minus one so that will cancel with this minus sign so we will have s squared plus omega squared okay now we multiply the numerator so i will have s cos theta plus j omega cos theta plus j s sin theta and minus because j times j is minus one minus omega sine theta over s squared plus omega squared now let's group this for the real part and imaginary part so the real part is s cosine theta minus omega sine theta plus j omega cos theta 
plus s sin theta divided by s square plus omega square now we only need to finish this up okay let's clean the board again okay we can rewrite this as this one s cosine theta minus omega sine theta divided by the denominator s squared plus omega squared plus j and this part omega cosine theta plus s sine theta divided by s squared plus omega squared so this is the real part and this is the imaginary part so the laplace transform of cosine of omega t plus t is the real part and the laplace transform of sine of omega t plus theta is the imaginary part so this is the laplace transform of cosine omega t plus theta and this is the laplace transform of sine omega t plus theta okay let's write that as our conclusion so the laplace transform of cosine omega t plus theta is this one s cosine theta minus omega sine theta divided by s squared plus omega squared and the laplace transform of sine omega t plus theta is omega cos theta plus s sine theta over s squared plus omega squared and this is our answer for this question okay let me know if i made any mistakes in the calculation and thank you for watching